so I wanted to see what you know what what specs like on the surface. Just the uh, Windows Store version. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had some honestly a little bit of trouble with some of the new Win 8 media framework stuff. So we've had some video playback issues, but our hope is that that will get that worked out pretty soon. Okay. This is working. So yeah, this this model here, I think you're going to see more and more Plex stuff start to look and feel a little bit more like this. Where you know, kind of this swipeable, um, you know, thing with the kind of important stuff up front, recently added, I recommended stuff, channels, and then the library, where I can then start drilling down. So this is content stored on a Plex server? This is right now. Yeah, right yeah, which server. is yeah, right. over there. Over. Um, and then we've got this new concept of being able to filter stuff. You know, you probably use Plex where you had to kind of stop and say, yeah. all right, I want to look at all movies, I want to look at Instead, you bring up the, the main category, and now you can start to um, filter live right here. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? And then I can say, okay, it should be stuff by genre. And this is already a list of those. Okay, it should be comedy. And you know, now I want it sorted by date added versus the other one. So, again, live filters right here. So that's a little different than some of the other apps. Um, but it's got access to, I think, I'm not sure if I have the volume up on here, but... Um, it's on the side of Because one of the issues with the the surface is you can't install codecs or anything like that. So if you've got an MKV file, it, it won't play. Well, yeah, and we have to transcode. Yeah. Uh, which we do, but we've had a little trouble with that. Um, but it's getting, I mean, I think we'll get that fixed. We have a release that we're about to submit tonight and then get it in there. Um, so to use this, you need sort of a Plex server as a yeah. back end for it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, some of this stuff doesn't. Like, I can get to um, my recommended and my queue and some other stuff right, yeah. just by logging in don't have to yeah. have a server running um, but one of the other things that we did add too just to kind of bring it up here is the uh, snap views so we've oh I see yeah oh shoot yeah sorry there <laughs> So and I, I really I think this is one of the coolest parts yeah. of um, Win 8 in general. Uh, yeah, so you've got your queue there or whatever your content on the side, snap to the side. Yep. I don't know why I can't swipe it. Maybe um, browse music. I can get to playing, yeah. and actually videos playing over there too while you're doing work, and that's, I think, a, yeah. to me, one of the coolest RT features yeah. of general. Yeah. And of course, you've got Plex clients running on other platforms like Android and everything else. Android and iOS. Yeah. And Roku here, this is a Google TV with the Mac Mini. Um, we've got you know, Linux, now Windows, Mac, server yeah. and clients, and um, Samsung, LG, a bunch of other... Yeah. Yeah, I think we saw the Windows Phone one last year. Yep. Yeah. Windows Phone one. Or yeah. Hopefully at some point here we'll get a Windows Phone 8 yeah. out as well. Excellent. Well, thanks for showing me that.